My name is Annis Pearl. Morning Glory, here's my story. Matthew 21, 22 says, You can pray for anything, and if you have faith, you will receive it. In the winter of 2021, as I was getting ready to go to work on Monday morning, I decided not to drive my car that day because due to the winter weather, and I called an Uber. As I was waiting for my ride, I, a strong desire came to my heart to pray. I went down on my knees and I said, Lord, if you can send someone to me this morning to share a word of hope and a word of salvation, I finished my prayer, I went outside, my Uber was already there. I went inside the car and I say good morning to the driver and he started to drive. I heard on the radio a song. I couldn't understand a word at all, but I did understood a one word, Jesus. I asked the Uber driver, I said, do you mind me to ask you, is your song that you're playing talking about Jesus, the one who died in Calvary Cross for you and me? And he said, yes. And he said, do you want me to turn it off? And I said, no, please. He said, are you a Christian? And I said, yes, I am. And I asked him the same question and he said that he was a Christian. And he asked me, what church are you going to? And I said, I'm a member of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Oh, are those the ones, he said, that worship on the Saturday? And I said, yes, we are. He said, why Saturday and not Sunday? And I said, for the big reason, my brother, I said, when God gave the law of commandments to Moses, the same law that he says, do not kill, do not lie, do not steal, in the fourth commandment, God wrote in that law, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you can labor, but in the seventh day you have to rest because that day belongs to me. And I say that to him and he said, that makes sense. But I thought that that was a thing in the past because all churches get together on, the, on Sunday. And I said, brother, that Sabbath is the seal between God and his people. So I invite you to know more about it. I will give you, if you don't mind, I will give you a phone number so you can call. We get together as a church every day. He said, no churches are getting together now because the pandemic. And I said, you are right. But we get together to pray every night in what we call the prayer line. And I said, do you mind me to write down in a piece of paper to you? And he said, no. I wrote down in a piece of paper the number of the prayer line. And I wrote my pastor's phone number as well. And as I arrived to work, I say goodbye to the driver. And I say, God bless you. And I will wait for your call. And I left. Ten minutes had passed, my sisters. And I received a phone call from my pastor. And he said, good morning, Anna. And I said, pastor, you're calling me on your day off? He said, Anna, were you in an Uber today? And I said, yes, pastor. And he said, that Uber driver said to me that you left your purse in his car and he will deliver in 10 minutes. The Uber driver arrived after 10 minutes and he said, Sister Anna, I want to double thank you because you gave me the number of the prayer line because, and you gave me a number of a pastor who answered phone calls. My pastor never answered my phone calls. So I said, brother, keep those numbers handy. So you can call my pastor and you can call the prayer line anytime. You are be, you're going to be welcome. But you can call to Jesus anytime also. And he will answer your prayers. Sisters in Christ. Matthew 21, 22 says, You can pray for anything. And if you have faith, you will receive it. May God bless you abundantly. Amen.